What you guys got another video this is the best windows 11 version ever and you can create it yourself and i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in this video and you'll be able to install it on your pc you won't need to do anything because it's going to be basically doing all of the hard work for you there'll be no running chris titus text tool or any of that stuff it's all going to be taken care of during the installation process and it's completely uh, legit and it's been around for a very long time and I'll show you exactly what you can do with your Windows 11 version. You can even do it on Windows 10 if you really need to still use Windows 10. You can still use this method and it works perfectly fine. And I'll show you step by step. Now normally when you go to install Windows you have to be at the computer and you have to be doing a lot of interaction with the installation. But did you know that you can actually install all of this automated and you won't have to worry about anything? It will remove all the applications. It will put all of your settings in place. So when you load up uh, Windows for the very first time and get to the desktop, all of those settings will be already set and you won't have to go through uh, the painstaking process of going into group policy and in the registry editor and doing all that stuff you can do it during the installation process and i'll show you this in this video now the other day i made a video about creating a answer file and i'll show you basically that in this video as well and i'll show you how you can use it to make a really decent windows 11 install or even a decent windows 10 install for yourself so i'm going to quickly let this install and i'll show you exactly what i mean once it gets to the desktop so I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up and until we get to the login page. And as you can see, it's bypassed all of the uh, Microsoft account and it's put straight into a local account. And uh, we've basically got our install and you can see it's pretty clean. So when we go here and have a little look, here, you can see there's no applications installed on there. We've also got our settings here. If I go into settings and show you here, we've got our PC 101. And we've also got our privacy and security settings. We are on a local account called admin, and that's because I've configured it that way to install that way. And all of the settings inside here will be all ready done for us. We don't have to go in here and do anything. And this is exactly what you want when you're installing Windows yourself. You don't want to be going through here and having to go through all of these settings manually and configure them. So all of this happens during the installation process and it turns all of these features off and it configures our operating system for us the way we want it. And this is exactly what you can do on your computer when you're installing it to save yourself a lot of time and it stops you from having to go through this laborious process of having to disable everything and go off to whatever site you want to download software and run it on your computer by doing this, you can do it all here. Copilot has all been removed. Everything has gone. And the beauty of this is you don't have to go on the internet and start to download software to do all this for you. You can do this yourself once you set it up correctly. And we'll go through that process in a second and I'll show you exactly how you can do exactly the same as what I'm doing right here. So basically, they use this a lot in companies where they install operating systems and they want them clean and they don't want all of this stuff on it. And you can see here, there's no applications on here at all. Everything has been removed. I've left Xbox here and stuff like that, but you can remove it if you wish. But basically, we've got this exactly how we want it. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things you can do to actually replicate this using the auto unattended file or unattended file. It's an XML file. And you can see here, this is the website I used to get a base uh, file and you can get these all over the internet there's people that have created these as well and you can see here settings setup is bypass windows 11 requirements for tpm secure boot etc allow windows 11 to be installed without an internet connection and you can also set the pc name up here and you can even partition the drive so you don't have to uh, mess around with this you can set it up to install on drive zero and things like that you can also install it for windows pro uh, you can see I've got passwords here. I'm going to remove these. You can remove these accounts and just have just admin here and have it installed on there if you wish. You can set it up exactly how you like. Rename everything the way you want it. And you can set your passwords here. And also you can disable stuff and also disable uh, Windows Defender if you want to here. 
and this will completely remove Windows Defender from the computer. If you want to disable uh, the system restore, which uh, to gain some uh, space and also to stop restore from running, you can do it here. And also you can disable widgets and uh, app suggestions and stop the drive from being encrypted here. And there's also another area down here which allows you to remove all of the bloatware, all of the applications that you don't want. You just check mark these. And of course, there's a custom area down here for scripts. Now, this will uh, take a bit of getting used to and understanding. You're going to have to do a bit of research on this because obviously this is uh, going to be the part where you'll need to edit your actual uh, XML file. So here we have our XML file here. And if you look right here, it's got all of the information like your language and also your product key, which is a generic key here, but you can use your own product key. It's going to accept the EULA for us. And it's also then going to move on to this next one. And it's going to run a sequence of orders. And you can see order one, order two, order three, and so on. It's going to go through here and it's going to start bypassing the TPM check, bypass uh, the RAM check and so on. It'll go through a bunch of checks here and then you'll see an area like this one called uh, Specialize. And it's going to basically do a bunch of orders here. You can see order one, order two and so on. Now I've added some more on here, which is your bypass NRO. And there's a bunch of others on here, which I've basically added. You can see Copilot is being disabled here and being removed, OneDrive, all that sort of stuff. And if you go through here, there's going to be a ton of them. Now I've added loads more. And if you know how to edit these, what you need to do is make sure that when you add these in, they are going to be in order. For instance, you can see from order one right the way down, and there could be something like 150 orders on here or 200, whatever it is, depending on how many edits that you want to make or tweaks that you want to make to your system. So going through here, you're just basically going to remove all of these app privacy settings and it's going to force deny all of those so if you add in all of your tweaks right here it's going to go ahead and go through all of those orders and tweak it to the way you want it again this is your local account right here administrator we called it admin no password set and we can also see uh, there's some other settings down here which is going to remove all of the applications during the installation process all this will be removed as well so if you need to remove those, you can do. And you can add in just about any sort of tweak you want, really, in your build. And there's another example right here for another file that I'm using, which is for the WinDIR setup scripts and specialized.cmd. So what is that doing? That's basically pointing to a directory in my installation media, and it's basically going to run that specialized cmd file and there's another one right here and it was called pc 101 that's the pc name and you can see all of the other settings that i've got set up here it's called admin and this is the other one called setup complete.cmd so let's take a look at how these ones are going to integrate into our iso so i'm going to use any burn here and we're going to edit the image file so let me go ahead and select an image file here that i have on my system I already made a video showing you how to de-bloat Windows ISO, so you can use one of those if you wish, but you might want to add some settings to it, and this is how you can do it. You can basically use your NT Lite uh, version of Windows. You will see also an unattended uh, .xml file in there, or auto unattended .xml file. You can remove that and add your own one in, because obviously NT Lite uh, is added one in there for us. In my sources, you can see there is a dollar sign, OEM dollar sign, and inside that folder, there is some other folders. So let me go ahead and show you. You can add new folder and add this into your ISO. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but let's have a delve into the dollar sign, OEM dollar sign, and you can see there's two dollar signs here, and we go inside here, and it should be set up, and inside here, there should be scripts. Inside this scripts folder is where you're going to put all of your tweaks and scripts that you want to use. For instance, if you wanted to add certain things in, as long as you know how to code those in, you should be fine. So in my tweaks one, I'll have a bunch of tweaks that are going to be added to Windows. In the specialized.cmd file, there's going to be a bunch of tweaks inside there. And also we've got our setup complete CMD and also remove packages.ps1 and also a photo viewer reg. So let's have a look inside here. 
So inside here, this is where it's pointing to. It's pointing to that directory on my ISO. So you can create these and put all of your tweaks inside here. Now, like I said, you will need to go through and do a little bit of research on uh, these actual files and how you can add stuff to them and understand how they work. And once you've got them, you can place them inside your ISO. So we can see here unattended.xml. I'm going to remove that because that come from my actual uh, NT Lite ISO. Now I'm going to go into the sources directory here and I'll show you how to create the folders like we just did here. So I'm going to go to more, new folder, call this one $OEM$, just like so, and put that in there. Once we've done this, we can now click on this folder, go into the next directory of that inside the $OEM$, and create a new folder and call this dollar dollar. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can go into this one right here and we can create another folder. And we got new folder here and we can call this one setup. And then you would need to put another folder inside there called scripts. And that is where all of your scripts are going to be for once you set it all up. And this is what's going to be used to do all of our tweaks during the installation. Now, like I said before, you can use the other website, which will do a lot of tweaks for you and add some more extra ones in. Or you can use this method to add in some other stuff right here. Again, you're going to have to do some research on how to get these to, uh, you know, deploy during the installation process. And you would have to look on some websites online. There's plenty of them out there that will help you set this up and get it done. So all you need to do now is click on the add all of your files that you want to deploy during the installation process. So we're going to be changing to photo viewer and there is also a specialized CMD file here. And you've got also your tweaks dot uh, reg file and you can add all your tweaks in there and it will add all those tweaks in during the installation process and basically set this up how you like, right? So once you've got all this done and you've got all of the files that you want to use in your particular uh, installation go back to the main root directory click add and then you can add your unattended xml file or your auto unattended xml file depending on what method you're going to be using whether you're using the uh, coding all in the script version or whether you're doing this particular version where you've got little folders here so this is the actual setup.cmd file and then you've got the uh, the specialized file, which is going to have a bunch of stuff inside there as well. And you can see it's saying reg import tweaks dot reg. Uh, so basically it's going to import that file and it's going to use all of the content inside there and then import that into your installation and make those changes for you. And again, there's plenty of websites out there uh, that will help you with this sort of stuff. There's stuff out there already completed and you can use them for free. And if you want to add more stuff, you can do. But again, if you want to customize it and have your own feel to it, you can do that as long as you know what you're doing. There's no point me showing you every step by step because the video will be hours long and it does take a bit of time. But once it's completed, you should have something looking like this. And once you've installed your version of Windows and deployed all of your settings during the installation process, you'll have something looking like this because all of the services you would have had set to manual and it will reduce those. And there's a bit of code in there that will reduce those as well down even further. And you can get that down to 67 processes here or even lower in some cases. And again, you can also uh, get the CPU down as well, uh, the utilization and things like that. So if you're looking to do something like this, I would suggest that you look at one of those um, auto unattended XML files, the website I pointed you to customize that as well and that's probably going to be the easiest starting point for you to be able to achieve something like this but you will need to customize it a little bit more than what they offer because you want to be able to change more settings in windows and that's easy enough done but another thing that you can do is once you understand how those files work you can then move on to the next uh, section of doing things like adding in those folders like dollar sign uh, OEM dollar sign and so on and add all your files in there and basically get it to install the way you want but you will need to know a little bit about uh, coding and also how to add in certain stuff that you want to tweak during the installation process anyway hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk 
Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.